Okay, Victor Schauberger said we could actually find a lot of the secrets to the universe in nature, which of course must certainly be true. I had always observed this as a young person. I'd spent a lot of time out in the yard observing nature, and I was always told, and it was always uh, the saying that uh, when spiders would perform ballooning, that's where they would actually uh, launch themselves up uh, into the stratosphere and actually carry themselves. Um, it's called uh, ballooning. That uh, Everybody thought that it was uh, due to um, uh, being carried aloft by the wind, but that's not true. Turns out that the ballooning is uh, a type of electrostatic propulsion. This is actually been proven in uh, 2013 by a science team that actually performed an experiment with these uh, spiders in uh, uh, completely sealed uh, plastic boxes where uh, no wind uh, was generated. Um, 2013, uh, Peter Gorham resurrected the idea and uh, confirmed it. Morley and Robert tested it with spiders. When uh, um, spiders do this, what they'll do is they'll climb out on a tree branch, newborn spiders, and they'll actually get up on... Uh, their hind legs. Now they have actual little hairs on their feet called uh, uh, trichoborthia uh, that are actually able to detect. Um, you'll actually see a lot of articles on this online. They'll say they'll detect electric fields. It's not electrical. It's actually electrostatic. And, um, and uh, it's believed that I'm actually going to draw a charge down here representative of, of uh, what we got going on here. Charge are on the ground, and then we got negative charges uh, up here in the clouds and in the stratosphere. But uh, they can actually sense this, and uh, I always thought that they were actually being carried, um, you know, to different locations. Some of them actually span the entire Pacific Ocean, it turns out, these little spiders. What they actually do is when they climb out on a tree, whoops, there we go climb out on a tree, draw his little abdomen there, they stick their abdomen, uh, abdomen up, and they'll actually make a little anchor point of uh, their silk. But uh, they don't, if you look really closely, what they are is super, super fine hairs like this that are uh, spread apart. Okay, And uh, it's almost like, you know, when you uh, would uh, rub your hair with a balloon, it would uh, raise your hair up. What it does is it's a self-induced electrostatic propulsion. This idea that these uh, spiders were propelled by electrostatic uh, repulsion, they're actually being not only repelled from the ground, they're actually accelerating towards the stratosphere. Of course, a very, very slight breeze. It turns out countless observations uh, show that uh, spiders do not like strong winds when they actually balloon. That's what they call it. Is ballooning, but what it is, it's uh, an electrostatic, um, it's the inverse of a parachute, if you will, but I mean, it's not catching air. This was proven in completely air free closed boxes, and would actually apply a charge in the box that, uh, that mimics uh, nature. The uh, spiders would balloon inside these sealed boxes, and when they turn off the charge, the uh, spiders would. Uh, uh, start dropping like a rock. So it's not the wind, and the wind actually carries them in whichever direction that they do carry them onto new destinations so they can obviously propagate and whatnot, uh, you know, uh, their species, obviously, as nature is wont to do. But uh, it turns out, let me actually choose some green here. I like to put a large leaf and show a spider here. And they stick up, they stand up on their, on their, uh, hind feet, and they actually, there we go, they stick, these feet are out in the air, and they're only standing on their front feet, they put their abdomen up in the air, they make an anchor line, which they hold until they see it, they set out uh, this fine mist that of course is mutually repelled, and what it is, it's an uh, 
it's a form of anti-gravity. It is literally, no joke, it is. And of course, there's no such thing as I've said over and over and over again in countless videos. There's no such thing as gravity. What we actually call gravity is point non-source dielectric acceleration. It is no different than what the common idiot fool uh, humans uh, call uh, magnetic attraction. There's no such thing as magnetic attraction. Um, magnetism is by definition force in motion and centrifugal divergence, but... It's a literal anti-gravity, but it's uh, electrostatic propulsion or dielectric um, um, repulsion from the Earth. And these uh, spiders do accelerate, has been proven and tested now, uh, away from the Earth. So these spiders are actually performing real deal anti-gravity by casting out a, a charged silk um, net that is repelled from the earth and they accelerate skywards and very very light winds at whatever elevations carry them on to uh, new destinations uh, that's uh, that's really incredibly cool I've actually seen a lot of video of this and of course when I was young and I would actually look at uh, spiders ballooning I, w I could not see because it is so incredibly fine I mean really really fine that when they actually plant their two feet, Mr. Spider here, they actually take all these other feet and they take them off so that they're only planted, planted on a leaf or whatnot. And then they stick their abdomen up in the air. But I could always only ever see one strand. But it's so incredibly fine, it actually goes out. And of course it spreads due to its charge. But there's this fine, um, mutually uh, self-repulsive uh, spread that is, it's almost like uh, if your hair were able to uh, rub itself with a balloon, you know, when you rub your hair with a balloon and it raises up towards the balloon, it's uh, when these uh, fine silken fibers are released, they naturally induce an electrostatic, uh, electro electro electropositive uh, static charge that accelerates them skywards. And so this is real deal anti-gravity in nature. Sorry for my poor, poor drawing. But... All this time, you know, everybody thought that uh, when they'd witnessed this, that it were the, was the winds that was carrying these spiders aloft, and that's not true. Now, the wind was responsible for their lateral movement. This is definitely true, but as far as their vertical acceleration, skyward, away from the earth, this had nothing to do with wind at all. This is true... Um, electrostatic, specifically dielectric, uh, anti-gravity performed by spiders so that they could travel far distances and propagate and spread their species. And uh, that's fascinating. Sorry about my poor drawing. But, uh, learn something new every day.